youth unemployment in the United Kingdom is third highest in Europe, second only behind Spain and Greece. Today we have got with us uh, many professionals and uh, leaders in education in our region. We want to make sure that they have the tools and the support they need to fulfil their statutory obligations to provide information, advice and guidance to young people um, in education in the region. So you're committed to this, you want to make this work for young people. I think the reason why young people need access to good quality and impartial careers education and guidance these days is because they face a bewildering range of choices about what to study, where to study, uh, in an environment that's more and more challenging and more complex and they need help to manage their journeys through learning and into work. We've got high levels of youth unemployment, we've got graduate underemployment, we've got a range of changes to education and training and qualifications that young people can follow, um, more and more opportunities to study higher education not just in this country but abroad. They desperately need help with making their choices and getting it right and not making the wrong moves for them. I think there have been incredibly large amounts of changes for schools to come to terms with over recent years. Obviously the big changes in legislation which have given schools their new duties um, around careers guidance, but that alongside the financial constraints that schools are facing at the moment really puts a big challenge on how schools develop programmes to, to make, make sure young people get the right support to progress into post-16 learning. So I think that schools are making a really good job at changing what they do but there's a long way to go and there's a lot of work to do around changing the careers education programme um, to make sure that it offers that broader support and putting personalised programmes in for young people to help them with their progression needs. I work for a head partnership. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an ex-head teacher. Retired, not sacked. <laughs> we are working with businesses and there is a tremendous appetite for businesses to work in schools, both to help shape this area of curriculum work, but also to actually provide some ex extra capacity. And schools and colleges should be crying out for, uh, for this sort of uh, help and assistance and extra capacity to fulfil their obligations in terms of careers learning and careers guidance. And we feel as though working with uh, Aspire Eye, we've got uh, a solution for schools and a solution for colleges. And this is a service we're calling Venture, and we're bylining it to live a lifeless order. It's an exciting new product, it's a development of things that we've done in the past and it's about the opportunities that exist for young people here in the UK to work, to study, to train, to live in other countries. In a sense it's about broadening opportunity. There is no other service that exists like this, it brings everything together in one place, it gives you the background, it enables you to make the choice, to make the decision if it's right for you and then it gives you the specifics. So, Fantastic new service, very well developed, aimed at individuals, also at those people working with them and the parents of those individuals. And it's been researched by experts. It's constantly updated. Um, it's produced by the Careers Europe team at Aspire Eye. And the Careers Europe team have 21 years of experience in producing and researching information about working and studying in other countries. The Careers Live event has been a real opportunity for like-minded people to come together to try and understand a very complicated uh, landscape. I think it's fundamentally important that we have a, an agreed understanding of where we are, what we should be doing. I think there were three things that delegates need to perhaps reflect on. Uh, as a result of coming here today. I think the first thing would be that the world of work and education is changing in a way that is a seismic change, very, very different. The second thing would be that in all of that change, then there is a real need to be offering aspiration, hope to young people 
and clarity to parents about the range of options that are available. And I think uh, some of the presentations we heard today are giving us examples of innovation, new ways of actually communicating. And I think the, the third thing really would be that uh, where we are at the present time is we've got to get more employers to step up and offer opportunities, particularly to young people, whether it's work experience, mentoring, work shadowing, inspiring young people to be thinking about future possibilities.